Scott's Studios, electrification! Hello music lovers and welcome to the top 10 of 2023. These are just harp things, not my whole life. Number 10. One year ago, I moved everything out of my harp studio. It was this lovely Tuscan yellow full of bookshelves. I relocated all of the books and with the help of friends, repainted it white, consolidated all of my music stuff in one space. I can find all of my stuff! Plus. The white walls in background look so much better on video. I'm not like dying of jaundice. Number nine. White walls was not enough. A few months later, I was playing in the studio and I was having a lot of trouble getting the looks that I wanted. My uncle helped me install track lighting. The lights were supposed to be for video, but it is so nice to be able to see what I'm practicing. It really stunned me how much more I enjoy a space when there's good lighting. Number eight, I played my first Renaissance fair. I have always loved going to Renaissance fairs, but this was my first time being a performer. I sewed a beautiful Italian costume out of old bed sheets, and I got to walk around in historically accurate garb playing Skyrim. Come out to the Niles Renaissance Fair and see us this year. Number seven, Scottish Festival. My friend Tiffany Schaefer invited me out to the Ohio Scottish Games. This weekend where a bunch of guys and gals in kilts dance, play music, herd sheepdogs, throw large heavy objects long distances. I was just there as the camera crew helping photograph the harp competition. Met a lot of new friends, including Scottish harp icon Karina Hewitt. Number six, separate trip, I got to visit my home in Minneapolis, Minnesota, meet up with my harp friends and YouTube icons, Stephanie Clausen and Hannah Flowers. We ate crepes, talked harps, danced. I was really encouraged to start producing sheet music because of Stephanie Clausen. Which leads me to number five. This year I finalized and released my sheet music arrangement of the Huron Carol, an amazing Native American slash French carol. The Huron people stretched from the eastern coast of Canada all the way up to near where I live in Michigan. You can check out the video and the sheet music right here. Number four, Guns N' Roses with my grandma. I don't have any harpists in my family, but my grandmother has been teaching guitar since Elvis was first wiggling his hips on television. So when I was visiting, my grandma got out the sheet music for Guns N' Roses November Rain, and I played the lead guitar solo and she played the accompaniment. I'm not sure what it says about the rebellious nature of rock and roll when I'm learning it from my grandma. Speaking of guitarists, number three. Have you ever heard an angel singing bass? This year I joined up with my friend Season of the Outlaw, this amazing indie rock and roll musician, to do a minor key arrangement of the Christmas Carol, Angels We Have Heard on High, except that he sings really low and gravelly. We played it around a lot with the arrangement and the motifs. He did an amazing job layering harp, guitar, and harmonies. You can check it out on YouTube or on Spotify and all the streaming places. Number two. This year was a great leap forward in harp, innovation, and technique, and technology. I discovered a box. So for the past 20 years, I've played the harp sitting down. You sit on a stool, pull the harp back. But this year I got an apple crate and I put my 36 string Celtic harp up on a box so that I could play while standing up. I am now a stand up member of the community. I love the freedom that I felt while standing up. Now before we get any farther, here are some non-harp highlights. In 2023, I discovered Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. Kayaked the St. Croix, lost my grandma, married off several friends, met a composer, started painting in oils, played my first game of D&D, sailed on a riverboat, became the videographer for several projects, and received an original Jack Stockman painting. And finally, drum roll please. <laughs> I got a new harp. This year I made my decade-long fascination with electric instruments a reality. I sold one of my harpsicles and bought a harp E, entirely electric instrument from the Harpy Company. For years I put pickups in my acoustic instruments, but this entirely electric harp will let me do more fun things with effects, with traveling. Everyone, meet Jamie the newest member of the Hart family, and definitely the biggest thing to happen in 2023. Harp 2, the electric boogaloo, and I'll see you in 2024.